height in his 150th race day start faces Cruz Pedregon now, Gary. With Tim Wilkerson. Tim, how much of a gamble were you taking when you pulled out of the lanes to go back and change to older tires? Well, the problem was is the track was deteriorating up there in that lane. It was getting worse. You've seen a lot of tire smoke over there. And I just wasn't going to take a chance of not going down the track. I've been beat too many times this year by me making bad mistakes. And uh, I thought it would be a better better chance if we had used hoops on there for the Levi Rand shop forward. So hopefully uh, we made a good decision there. We, I think we got lane choice over Zip next round. He smoked the hoops too. So God bless him. Maybe we can do some good this weekend. And uh, thanks to all the fans. I'm getting been getting a lot of good emails, a lot of good people coming up wishing us luck. So thanks a lot, fans. Appreciate it. Get ready for a new wave. Nice to see you. Thank you. Cruz Pedregon be celebrating his 48th birthday on Monday. Right now, his worry is Robert Hyde. And Robert Hyde's got to be thinking. Last two races he has lost in first round. Well, you know, and this is a situation where timing is everything. Both, neither of these cars really look good in qualifying. Both went down one time out of four. You got to look back with Matt Hagen running that 401 and make you wonder if some of these guys maybe are pushing a little harder because they saw that. But remember, Matt ran just as that sun was coming out. for Cruz, but it is still a win, 432, 265 miles an hour. And so two John Forrest racing cars are non now out within the first round. Look at that, in the countdown to the championship, out in round one, four in funny car, four in top fuel, who were in the countdown to the championship. Those are the mistakes, Mike, we're talking about. Got to be on your game right now here. And that's what's amazing is Matt Hagen runs 401 and half. Most of these guys can't even get down the racetrack. Well, there you go. You're talking about peaking and momentum, aren't you? Well, here is the Lucas Oil Funny Car Ladder. Matt Hagen now will face Cruz Pedregon. Don't count Cruz out. He's very capable. Jack Beckman has Jeff Oren. Other side of the ladder, you can see as Tim Wilkerson talked, he will have lane choice over Mike Neff, and then Jim Head will have lane choice over Johnny Gray in their matchup.